I have some trouble to distinguish the mind going into fears and scenarios and gut feelings or even to feel what it is that I want for the fears and bears a focus point So what you can do if you're feeling a lot of fear is you can go down to the sacral chakra and begin to investigate what's happening in the sacral chakra. And what is it that you feel there? In the root chakra. So a lot of fear tends to be because the root chakra and the sacral chakra are out of balance. So that's why it produces fear. And we don't know what comes first, the story or the out of balance chakra. I mean, maybe we're born into this life with certain chakra setups and dynamics, but it also could be the story that you tell yourself. So if we look at the sacral chakra, the sacral chakra is in the positive, it's security, it's safety, it's stability. Um, sexuality, creativity, uh, power, strength. Um, and then the root chakra is trust, strength, uh, groundedness, stability. It's also got sexuality in it. Um, groundedness. And then out of balance, the sacral chakra, so that's the one just below your belly button, is fear, anxiety, cut-offness, no creativity, lack of motivation, lack of sexuality. Not necessarily lack of sexuality, but lack of connected sexuality, we should say. Um, and when it's out of balance, it can create deficient energy or um, excessive energy. And when it's an excessive, you might overwork yourself and stress yourself. So it's not coming from a creative place, it's just coming from overwork. Um, the same um, uh, with sexuality, like constantly wanting sexuality, but it's not connected sexuality, it's not loving sexuality, it's like an addiction, it's addictive sexuality. Um, and then like lack of security, lack of safety, Lack of connectedness, motivation. Oh, but I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about the excessive and de deficient. So the excessive will go into like extra sexuality, working too hard, like putting up too much safety. So you can imagine they have a house like that's a Fort Knox, so lots of security cameras, um, or um, or maybe they're like really risky. An excessive person can also take loads of risks and do things really in an extreme way and take unnecessary ri risks. Someone that's in deficient energy can also do that with risks as well, um, but they could be somebody that has too low boundaries and lets people in too easily, um, like lack of sexual energy, lack of creative energy, lack of work, lack of safety. Um, All types of things. Uh, a lot of people are very cut off from that, especially the ones that are into spirituality. People that are into spirituality tend to be like more heart, throat, third chakra and um, the top of the head chakras. So it's just coming back to that and seeing what it is and allowing those feelings to be it, to come in. And then on the deepest level, so beyond the chakras, knowing that everything that you're desiring isn't true or everything that you're trying to avoid isn't true. The freedom comes from this moment. So your chakra is telling you that bad things are gonna happen if you don't act and it's not true. But it's just seeing that for what it is, seeing the thoughts, seeing the feelings, allowing them to be there. And then knowing that none of that's true. Who you are is here, 
is now, is this. That's your true freedom right here. So what's happened is you're overstimulated. You, you're too obsessed with your securities, your home, your money, your situation, and you're in panic mode. And it's, it's, it's too much, that chakra's too much. It's just allowing that feeling there, letting it be there, and then knowing that it's not true. What it's telling you isn't truth. Your freedom is this moment, is what's happening is life. 